Can anyone explain to me how the Israeli government killing people in the West Bank is not considered terrorism? Why are the Israeli police allowed to murder 12-year-old kids for lighting fireworks and that somehow makes them the good guys while the 12-year-old Palestinian boy is considered the terrorist for lighting fireworks. Uh, any Israeli in the occupied West Bank is considered illegal. The settlements are illegal. And actually anything what like uh, the cops, the Israeli police and settlers do is considered terrorism. If you want to try to prove me wrong, go ahead. Anger and grief filling the streets of Anata in the occupied West Bank, where a 12-year-old Palestinian boy, Rami al Hawli, was shot and killed by Israeli police, according to the Jerusalem Palestinian government. It happened last week in a refugee camp. This cell phone video appearing to show the moment the boy lights and launches a firework before he was shot. So... He was shot just for lighting a firework. What? Did the Israeli police, like, for their lives? Oh no, there's a firework being lit by a 12 year old. I have to murder them. This just shows that the Israeli police are terrorists. Palestinian officials say the bullets coming from the direction of an Israeli police watchtower. <laughs> His parents horrified and filled with immeasurable grief. And somehow I'm supposed to believe that the Israeli government are the good guys when they're murdering people just for playing with fire and the West Bank. I don't know. There's going to be people that are going to be like, oh, Hamas exists there. So the Israeli government is justified in murdering kids. <laughs> saying their son was celebrating the end of another day of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. His father, Ali, mourning this excruciating loss. He says the doctors who treated my son at the hospital came to me and asked if I was the father. He said, the boy is dead. You brought him dead. I couldn't do anything. So if Palestinians in the West Bank decided to defend themselves very they would be justified because the right to self-defense just like the israeli government what is the israeli government doing in the west bank they're murdering people and stealing their land you just have the uh, israeli government uh, come out saying that they're going to steal almost two thousand acres of land from the palestinians in the west bank uh if they decide to take up arms, they have that right. In a statement, Israeli police say a single shot was fired by a border police officer towards a suspect who endangered the forces while firing aerial fireworks in their direction. Wait, they endangered Israeli forces? Uh, Israeli forces that shouldn't even be in the occupied West Bank? a laugh. Lighting a firework doesn't endanger anyone. It, that's just the excuse they're using to justify their murder. But the Israeli government says it's investigating the incident. Since October 7th, at least 435 Palestinians have been killed at the hands of Israeli forces in the occupied West Bank and East Jerusalem, according to... Yeah, that's terrorism. 400 people being murdered by the Israeli government in the West Bank, a place where the Israeli government has no right to be. The Palestinian Health Ministry, and approximately 100 of those deaths were children under the age of 18. Many advocates argue, in some cases, the shootings weren't justified. About 60 were killed in circumstances that would not justify using lethal force. These are, for example, cases of stone throwing, of uh, protests, of setting fire to tires, or in some cases, even just bystanders. Thank 
Yeah, because the Israeli government loves to murder kids and then justify it by claiming